All right, the first thing we've got to do is go to Sogo's website and download their connector. And click the download button. Save it to your computer somewhere. And then we're going to open up Thunderbird and install that XBI file, that connector. Go to Tools, Add-ons, Extensions, click the gear and browse your computer, install add-on from a file, find where you uh, downloaded it to and install that add-on. And you've got to restart Thunderbird. Now the next thing we've got to do is get the link from within SOGO, both for uh, the address book and the calendar. So let's go to SOGO and log in. Okay, now we're going to click the address book icon in the top right corner. And these three little dots, you'll see something called links to this address book. Select that. And then copy this link. That's your uh, card DAV URL specifically. And we're going to switch back over to Thunderbird. Click on the address book icon, and here we're going to add a new address book. But it's going to be, there we are, I'll find it in a second, a remote address book. Important distinction. There you plug in your card dev address, give it any title you want to give it. Select any options you'd like down below as far as automatic syncing or not and then OK it. Now, we've got the address book, but there's nothing in it. We've got to synchronize it. But before we do that, let's add something to our address book over here. OK, now we're going to go to the address book, click the three little dots, choose link to this address book, and let's copy that CardDAV address but before we go back to uh, Thunderbird, let's also add one contact to our address book so we can see how this is going to work. I'll create a single contact and uh, provide some random information here. I won't fill out the whole thing, but I do want to put enough in there so you get a sense of how it works. That's it. Make sure you save that. And now let's switch back over to Thunderbird. Now we right click on that and choose Synchronize. And we've got to enter in the first time the username and password associated with the LDAP login. And go ahead and OK that. And just like magic, there it is.